Adventures World. So just tell them you can read minds. Your parents should understand too. They'll be totally creeped out, but they'll understand. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to Agatha All Along. We're now on to episode six, which is called Familiar by Thy Side. So last episode, we had Agatha's trial, which was a bit short, but still very interesting. Gave us some insight into Agatha's past and a little into why she is the way that she is. Unfortunately, we lost Alice because of a mishap with Alice trying to protect Agatha. And this turned teen, who we now know is Billy, uh, shall we say against the witches. He decided that this is not the pack he really wants to roll with. And he finally exposed his power, which is serious business and threw all the witches in the mud. So I'm assuming that they're still gonna be around, but uh, now that he's kind of shown his cards, I'm interested to see what the girls are gonna think about that if and when they get out in this episode. And also what's gonna happen with potentially Lilia's trial, which should be the last one in the witch's road now. So yeah, I'm excited to jump into this episode. We don't need to talk too much more about it. So let's do that. Just before I do though, a reminder that if you'd like to be in the know of when I drop episodes, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and join the fam. All right, that out of the way. Let's get into the episode right now. Jewish, huh? I mean, okay. Celebrate the magic, magic mitzvah of William Kaplan. Okay. So this is mother, his father, his new parents. Honestly, this kid doesn't look anything like Wanda or Vision. William, come on, child. William, so, so proper. I know this song. I mean, I don't know, but I've heard it before. I've never been to a bar mitzvah, but it looked like fun. Are we looking behind us or ahead? Ahead. I, I think. Is this a, I thought it was a flashback, but unless he wiped it from Lilia? Your lifeline is broken in two. What? It can mean many things. It often represents personal growth and important life changes. She's BSing. A new you. Clearly. I wouldn't worry. Really? Because you look scared. You look very, very worried. I thought you were reading my palm. Huh? Who are you again? Enjoy the now, baby. It's the only thing that's certain. So did Billy actually know her? Why didn't she say anything if she remembered? So she didn't even know she did that. Hmm. Lily is such an interesting character. Will you make sure that they get it back? What you did? I don't remember. Huh. Was the sigil already in effect? Okay, so she didn't remember. All right. But B Billy didn't remember her either? Well, that's the sigil that was on his mouth. I just realized that she, she couldn't have, but she was able to talk, but he never asked her. Okay. Mom, he's out! Okay, this is when it was shrinking. Okay, that's not enough to kill them. Got William, William, William! Oh God. Honey, go out the other side. There we go. I mean, let me. I feel that was. I can only imagine as a mom. You just didn't. You're not even thinking straight. Okay, so maybe he doesn't remember her then. That's why, if this happened, he doesn't remember the fortune teller then. Okay. Tommy. Yeah, where is Tommy? Is he breathing? Huh? He is now. Okay. Thank God. Don't move him. There's an ambulance on the way. She said she was an ex-cop. He doesn't remember her either? Okay, I've got so many questions already, but just let's let the episode go. It's fine, just please don't fight. 
What do you mean? We're not fighting. Oh, being so close to the anomaly did something. And the really good news is you're cleared to be discharged as soon as tomorrow. Well, only if you're ready. Are you? She doesn't want him to go home. Has he been reading the witch's minds all this time? Okay. Hmm. What happened to Tommy? I have questions. That's probably just the smell from the hospital or something. Nope. Greg knows something's off. Always trust the animals. Always. Is he gonna tell them? Ooh, doesn't quite work like that. Maybe I just need to see my room. She didn't say that out loud. Yeah, I feel like mind reading would not really be a gift unless you could turn it off. I mean, I guess in a way, because then you can't misinterpret what people are thinking, but, or, you know, expressions and stuff, but also people think things that should never be said out loud sometimes, you know? I see a witch. I saw Houdini. What other magic? Is that a Goonies poster? A Goonies poster? I am William Kaplan. Say it like you believe it now. With real verve. Cause it's feeling like you're phoning it in. Just saying. Three years later. So that was when he was 13. Puzzle. Sort of. Puzzle. We haven't seen any ref have reference to Boyf since episode one. Or two. Thing happens when I'm with someone I care a lot about and they're having <laughs> intense feelings. Are we talking about bodily functions? You're teenagers. Oh, I already saw the phone. I'm... I'm I'm gonna do it. Nah. Nah. I want you to know the truth. I want you to know the real me. Should you be telling him this? Okay. I mean, telling somebody you can read minds just never goes well. But they're in the world of the Avengers, so. If you're not William Kaplan. Who are you indeed? Who are you? Hmm, that is the quest. So I've compiled a dossier. Uh, of course you are. Damn. It's messy in here, William. Clean it up. You have magic, do it. That big red dome thing in the sky. Exactly. I thought that turned out to be some Avengers training exercise gone wrong. Yeah, Avengers world. So just tell them you can read minds. Your parents should understand too. They'll be totally creeped out, but they'll understand. Fine. I did find this guy on Reddit. Reddit. He used to live there. I'm supposed to meet him tomorrow. I'm adorably trusting. <laughs> right? That sounds a little shady, fam. Don't meet strange people you meet on Reddit. Reddit. I mean, no shade to Reddit, but open for him, you know? This is where he suggested. That's my point. Exactly. Maybe not putting it all in his hands when you're 16. It's crazy that as an adult, you just see how many things you did when you were a teenager that was like, oh my God, the way the Lord was protecting me. You just call me Ralph. Randall, call me Randall. Thanks for coming. Seven! It's elevators! For what? Don't worry about it. Look, 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 look. <laughs> He's like, don't touch me. Oh my god, I did not expect this cameo at all. That's great. Quicksilver, do your thing. Feel like it changed you? Do you think? Can you like oh, do stuff? That way, no. Please don't ask about it. I get the part. Please don't ask about it. I get the part. Please don't ask about it. No. <laughs> <gasps> Poor Quicksilver. My deal was way, way worse. It's true. He got double whammied. Jacked. I jacked my face. He did. Wanda and Agatha in his head. It was a terrible influence on Wanda Vision's kids. And I poisoned a dog. Woof. Nah. Sorry. The little speedster. His mind reading brother. That's all you need to know. I think they got sucked up into that red bubble thing like everything else wanted to make. Damn. After that, I cut and run. Left my entire Blu ray collection behind. No, not the Blu rays! Thought you were in the buried in that yard with that dog. Or worse, you seriously do not know what kind of crazy that lady eats for breakfast. He wasn't wrong. 
You know, amongst all the crazy, quite a bit of lucid stuff in there. I'm gonna give you half off tickets to my one man show in Paramus. One man show. Respectfully, I'm sure it's a lovely show, but I'll I'll, I'll give you cash. He's been doing his homework. He knew all of these witches before he met them. That's crazy. Except for Jen. He, did, he interacted with almost all of them. Sloppy, Agatha. Brujapedia. <laughs> so he wants Tommy. That makes sense. Okay. I asked last episode what he's doing. Like, is he there for power? Clearly not. He's there for his brother. And that's where he, okay, we're caught up. Black heart, coincidence. Stay out of the panty droid, weirdo. Many of errors. <laughs> I panicked, so I ran, but uh, I'm very glad I can have this opportunity. Ah, I love seeing this scene the way it actually was. Ow! Could we, like, <laughs> the way in her vision he, like, totally fell over? not laugh you can tell he wants to and i don't even think it's for the character oh Catherine. you didn't actually kill the victim but is guilty of some other b story crime that couldn't be farther from the truth she didn't hear any of this there you go that'll work that won't work <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you lying let's find out <laughs> This is so much funnier than the second episode. <laughs> Wait, did you just hear what I said? Finally. Lots of flowers. She did not That's see him open the spell book at all. Interesting. Who are you? My name is William Kaplan. Gotcha. But she didn't hear it because you have a sigil. Say again. Did he say his real name and that's why she can hear it? I'm Billy Maximoff. Ah! Both names though were redacted. Ah. Hey. You needed to cool off. You're fine. Mud's very good for the skin. I hear. Come on, use your arms. Throw your back into it. How about our other ladies? Did they make it? Jen? Oh yeah, we have one more trial. I wonder, does Billy get a trial? Because he's technically a witch. Oh, your glorious coat. Where's Rio? I just realized Rio never came out. Where's Rio? The sigils are destroyed. So she put the sigil. Lilia did. Okay. But why? Why would Lilia feel the need to put it on? That was quite a debut. The sigil. What's that? Power is what I'm missing. <laughs> Putting it together, Abby. Or Aggie. Even with the sigil in the way, you and your mother have the same tell. Do tell about the tell. Which is? Very inconvenient for you. <laughs> you can hear me now. Every witch with a beating heart can hear you now. Lily, I was trying to protect you. Life goes on. Yours, anyway. I mean, I've killed... Uh... Yeah. Can't count. My share. Let's call it that. Let's call it that. I'm not like you. You sure? Where did you come by this fresh body you're wearing? Rio? You survived. Witches have been doing for centuries. Oh, right, because Billy was inside of the bubble. An opportunity, an empty vessel, and you moved in. That's what makes you a witch. Kindred spirits. But I don't need you anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> Witch's Road says otherwise. With all that power you can't control without throwing a temper tantrum. I'll figure it out! <gasps> Fairy teen. She chose a town full of strangers over her own flesh and wires. Damn. Flesh and wires, that's horrible. 
Who is left? She's such a terror. I love it. You're after Toby. <laughs> That's what I said. He's out there somewhere. I hate when people do that. Just know that I do not trust you at all, ever. Is that supposed to hurt her feelings? Got it. She wants your power, Billy. You know that, right? Last one there is a nice person. <laughs> Oh, she needs the coat for the dramatic swing. I'm so upset. Go I'm fix it, Billy. Much. I mean, you're just temperamental, Billy. Oh, not the hood. Ooh, for extra intrigue. He's like, I'm a bad boy. You see, I put up my hood. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, guys. Well, that was ex episode six. And now we finally got the story from Billy's side. Now we know what happened, what led him up to where we are in the show as far as how he found Agatha, what was going on. And I love that they kind of went back and showed us all the different touch points that he's had with all the different witches in this coven. And also what a good little actor he's been as far as playing this, oh my gosh, golly gosh, gee whiz teen that's just trying to figure things out and no idea what to do and has no power. Oh my God. I do wonder now how many things he might've interfered with in the earlier trials that maybe we just didn't see or they didn't want to show us. But I really do like that they went back and showed us what's going on with him. So if I'm understanding correctly, and I may be not, again, want to remind people that I'm live reacting to this for the first time. So I do miss a lot of things on first watch that I often catch in usually when I'm editing, but coming back, um, it sounds like um, Agatha is saying that when Wanda pulled the spell back on Westview and basically reversed, I guess not really reversed, but took the kids out. Cause like she, she caused the kids to be, but I guess she didn't really undo the children. And it sounds like the energy of her boys, that's what I'm assuming their energy, their spirit went out, like the bodies that they were. Cause we have to remember that technically the twins shouldn't exist, right? Vision cannot procreate, okay? <laughs> Vision is a robot, he cannot have kids. So the fact that these boys were created, that was literally Wanda's will that made them flesh. And she basically took the flesh back, I guess. But we know that Wanda wanted family so badly, like if, you know, in WandaVision, and then if you watch Doctor Strange, spoiler alert, the last Doctor Strange movie that is, you know that Wanda's desire for a family was so strong that it was just overwhelming. Like all the things she did in Westview, all the things she did in Doctor Strange were all around the fact that she was tired of being alone and she really just wanted a world where she could have the family she'd always wanted, a family that was gonna stay because you know she'd lost so much. And so what I think is that in this world, in this reality, even though she knew she had to reverse what she did to Westview, in her heart of hearts, she didn't have it in her to wipe out the kids because that's the, the one thing that she really just couldn't bear to lose. And so it looks like Billy's spirit, or I'm gonna call it spirit because I can't think of it, maybe energy, spirit, essence, whatever, found the closest host outside of Westview because it looks like his family lived in Eastview. So it went out and I think, oh, that's what happened. The real William Kaplan actually died that night in the car accident. Like that car accident his family had on his bar mitzvah, we lost him. And Billy saw the body, saw an opportunity and he took over the body, but he had no recollection of what happened. Like that was the side effect is that he couldn't remember what happened before he jumped into that body. And so seeing that he basically was trying to figure out who this, you know, this body belonged, like he, he had no idea, I guess, about that. And I mean, that's when Agatha asked that question of like, how did you find this fresh body? I still don't think that Billy has his full memory back. Just the way he was looking at Agatha, I don't think he had the answer to that question. Like, I think he, he knew he existed. He knew that he's Billy Maximoff. He knows he's got a brother, but he has no idea how he got into the body of William Kaplan, right? So anyways, so that's a very interesting uh, side plot for him. But anyways, uh, he, we see, I just really love watching how he had to maneuver and figure out how to navigate in this, this new world with these people who believed to be, like believed him to be their son and how the mind reading came in a little bit handy in the sense that he was able to figure out what to do to make himself seem like he was actually William Kaplan while trying to put the pieces together of whatever the heck was going on in his life. And so I think they did a good job because this was not a very, it was, some, it was a little bit longer than the last one, right? 
yeah, this is the longest episode thus far. Kind of interesting. I thought we would have, you know, in Agatha's show, you would have thought her backstory would have been the longest episode. But anyways, it's okay. I feel like this episode was definitely to start feeding us into what things might be happening down the line with the MCU, but coming back. So anyways, the mind reading, I was saying in the episode that one of the things that make, you know, I feel like mind reading is definitely a double-edged sword of a power to have because Obviously, on the one hand, as I said, you'd never misinterpret somebody's looks. You'd never, you know that no one ever would ever be able to lie to you. You'd be able to do things like, you know, never fail a test. <laughs> you know, there are definite benefits. There's no doubt. But without being able to control it, hearing what people are really thinking about you, especially if it's not kind or, you know, nice things, that can be a lot. And also just hearing about people's darkest thoughts, um, hearing people think about things that are really messed up. Like, you know, say like there's mm, it's definitely a double-edged sword and we see that it was definitely overwhelming for him in the beginning but as we see he eventually did learn to control it and I'm thinking that this is also what helped him to be able to pull the wool over the witch's eyes for so long because he probably anytime maybe one of them got a little suspicious of something he would say or do he would have heard that and been able to circumvent it right with something else so it just shows you that he's very quick on the draw, right? He's a very good little actor. And the reason I brought up, you know, what he did as far as taking over this body and, and integrating into this family, he'd already learned how to be a, a good actor in order to fit into this new family. So of course he was able to play the, sh the wide eyed simple teen when dealing with Agatha and the witches, right? So I just love how all these things kind of prepared him for this situation of being with Agatha and playing along to get onto the witch's road so that he could get this thing that he wanted. And I remember last episode, I was asking, okay, if he already has magic, then why is he on the road? This doesn't make sense. Cause it can't be about Agatha. I don't think he cares about Agatha enough. And part of me thought maybe it was about Wanda, but I'm like, nah, the witch's road would not, I don't think it brings people back to life. I don't think that's what, what it's all about, but it makes sense. Tommy is still out there. And that was the first thing he thought of when he took over Billy's body. So understandably, he wants to get his brother back. And he's like, as he said, he can sense him, but he can't figure out where he is. So he was hoping at the end of the witch's road to be able to find Tommy, I guess. Or if Tommy is not like him in another body, my guess is he'd probably want to put him in one and basically make him real again. And that makes sense because Tommy's the only family he has left now, really. And the only person who's like him, like <laughs> Billy's an extremely unique person as for the same reasons that I mentioned earlier. So anyways, very good to see how he sleuthed all of that together. And now we see that he's not sure what to do next, right? He, he thought he needed Agatha, obviously to get him to the road, but I think the other reason he wanted Agatha is because she's so old and she has done the witch's road before or is rumored to have done the witch's road before. He thinks she's the best guide for him and his abilities, which I think is probably 90% right. But the problem now is that Agatha has figured out who he is and she has an idea of what his powers are. Like she didn't really see outside of like the telekinesis. I don't think she, oh no, she would have recognized that the girl, that the other two witches were controlled. But yeah, I, Billy's lost a bit of an edge. Let's, let's put it that way. He's lost an edge. He did have a bit of an edge while Agatha was in the, hmm, about who he really was. But now that not only she knows who he is, but she has a taste of what he's capable of, she's going to be able to navigate around that. And she has a little bit of power, right? She still has Alice's power in her. So it'll be interesting to see how the rest of this road goes, because I have no doubt she probably wants Billy's power because it's a very unique power, especially because he's a very unique person. So, but he already knows. And after seeing Alice, he got a visceral reminder about not just throwing power directly. Because we noticed last episode, the way he had the girls drag Agatha into the mud, right? He knew not to blast Agatha directly with his power or to give it to her. So he's, he's smart. I like that. I like seeing that Billy's very shrewd. He's very astute, despite the fact that he's so young. But Agatha being centuries years old, she's going to have just a, a depth of lens that he's not capable of having at that young of an age. The one thing is, I don't know, and they, they made sure not to show us yet, is whether or not, and I just assumed when I said earlier, but we don't know whether or not for certain that Billy can read the witch's minds, right? Because his mind reading ability may be limited to regular people. It may not be possible with people who have magic. And also, if Agatha now knows that for certain this is Billy, she might be very careful about 
making sure she doesn't think about anything that could be harmful to her or how harmful to this situation. So, and again, she might even know she's got some magic back now. So maybe she has a way of putting up a barrier. I'm not sure, but anyway, I was gonna say, if he can in fact read minds, including Agatha's and she slips up, then maybe he'll be aware of anything before she does it. But again, Agatha's got centuries of experience on this kid and she's probably dealt with people far more crafty than him. So the game is really on now, right? The, now that all the cards are really on the table, the game is on, so. But yeah, I think this was a really good episode. I love seeing how we got from where Billy started to where we are now on the witch's road. And also seeing that Billy, like I said, has interacted with almost all the witches beforehand, but they didn't remember him because, well, I understand why Alice wouldn't have remembered him because as a cop, you're gonna see people all the time. And besides Billy was also like covered in blood and you know, possibly not gonna make it when she showed up. But seeing that Lilia, put the sigil, she's the one who made the sigil and put it on Billy. And of course she can't remember. She doesn't remember making the sigil. But again, that's because of the sigil. But I also think she had the vision, right? She said, one, your, your, your path splits in two, which can either be a re reference to the twins or the fact that he was going to be in two different bodies. That's what I'm, but that was, but that was the real Billy. That was the real Billy or the real William. Okay, wait, let me take a minute with this. So the real William went to go see Lilia. Lilia foretold that his life was gonna split in two, AKA he was gonna kick it and that Billy was gonna take his body. Again, she may not have known it was Billy, but I think she foresaw that his body was gonna be taken. My guess is she either knew that whoever was gonna take the body needed to be protected somehow. And that's why she made the sigil. Cause why else would she? Right? So I think that's what happened, but it was one of her visions and that's why she didn't remember or when she, I don't know, I don't know. I guess we wouldn't know because the way Lilia's power works, I don't know if she saw the future, freaked out, thought the sigil was the best thing and made it. And then obviously because of the sigil forgot or if she got into one of her things where she was in the vision and she really didn't even remember or know that she was actively making the sigil. Do you feel me? I don't know, I'm not sure. It's one of those two, but either way, I'm just really curious because I really wanted to see Lilia's trial, guys. Like, I'm really ticked that Lilia's dead. <laughs> like, what? Like, we had one left. Like, can we not? I really wanted to see what her what her trial was gonna be. I think it's it's very, and where's Rio? Where's Rio? That's the other question. Halfway through the episode, I, I remember that in the last episode, Rio never left the house. Do you remember with the trial? The two other witches came out but Rio never left the le never left the last trial. Why didn't she? Where is she? Where is she? Up until now, we have not seen her, which is very interesting. But I think she knew that that was Billy Maximoff from the get-go, actually. But she just kept her mouth shut to see whether or not Agatha would figure it out. But digressing. But yeah, where is Rio? Very upset we didn't get to see Lilia's trial. But that means if we're not gonna get Lilia's trial, then I guess we're getting Rio's. But huh, anyway, we'll have to see. But I'm disappointed. I really did want to see Lilia's trial. I'm really sad that we lost the other two witches just like that. But I I mean, I kind of had a feeling after Mrs. Hart died slash Sharon that we probably weren't gonna have all the witches last to the end of this, that it was gonna end up being, you know, the fact that Agatha back in episode was at three or four said, um, something around the force of two or something like that. And, you know, Jen corrected and was like, no, it's like with, you know, it was something with your power true or something like that. But I feel like that was foreshadowing saying there was just gonna be two of them at the end, which I think is now gonna be Agatha and Billy. But anyway, coming back, sad we lost those two ladies, especially Jen, my girl. But anyhow, I'm hoping they're not gone. I'm hoping that somehow they're, they're gonna come back. And remember the seven are still on the road as well. The seven are still on the road. They're still pursuing, although they're going after Billy as well. I noticed they attacked Billy when they did the broom thing last episode. So he's up for grabs as well. But anyways, those girls are gone. Rio is at large. And now we see that Agatha basically is like, all right, since it's the two of us, let's finish this up. But we see Billy doesn't really wanna work with her anymore. Cause he's like, you really are willing to do whatever. And I don't trust you. But Agatha's basically like, mm, I feel like you still need me. And we saw that Billy wasn't actually able to summon his magic the same way he did when the last episode. So it looks like he's not 100% there with knowing how to use his magic. It looks like right now it's triggered by emotion. And we saw that Agatha just read him like a book. She's like, oh, that power you can't control without throwing a tantrum. Interesting, right? So this is why I'm saying that Agatha's centuries of experience are definitely gonna give her an advantage that Billy just doesn't have. Even Wanda for that for that matter too, because we see that Wanda didn't really start to come into her power until she was in that training facility with her brother, you know, as a teenager. So 
You've got Agatha with just centuries of experience. She's kind of the perfect teacher for him. So yeah, as much as Billy doesn't want to have to go with her, I think he needs her just to learn a bit more about how to use his powers properly. Because I do think that if he was more in control, he probably would be able to find his brother without the witch's robe, to be perfectly honest. So anyway, that's where we're at now. Billy and Agatha are on the road. Like I said, all the cards are on the table. There's no more secrets, so to speak, as far as between them. I mean, mostly on Billy's side. Obviously, Agatha is a trove of secrets. But yeah, we see now that Agatha knows what's up. And because it's Maximoff's kid, you know, she's definitely got some serious vim for Wanda still. And actually, that puts a lot more perspective, too, because back in episode two, remember Agatha stopped at the house at what was left of Wanda's house and spit on the ground. And Billy definitely saw that. It's interesting. But anyway, it'll be interesting to see now what Agatha is planning to do because Wanda's dead. That was the person who kind of was deserving of all the vim as far as her being under the spell for three years. But I wonder how she feels about Billy. And I'm wondering if she now has a new plan for him of some kind, because I feel like she does want his power. That's Agatha, right? She wants power in the end. And Billy's is so unique that I can't, I can't think that right now she's not plotting on a way to make him use his power directly on her so she can take it from him as well. Because jumping bodies, if Agatha is able to do that, God help us. If she can figure out a way to keep herself from being destroyed if her body's destroyed, she's definitely gonna want that. That's what, who wouldn't want that, right? So anyway, good episode. Once again, very, very good. I love how they replayed and did that rewinding, but it's filled in all of those pieces for us. Love the recreation of the scene of Agatha and him in the interrogation room for the reality versus Agatha's mind. Really, really good. I really love when writing is very complete and well-rounded like that and gives us multiple sides of a story. So as usual, looking forward to the next episode and I enjoyed this one a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next one.